that's enough for me. So I also checked from the Google, he has a very popular episode with Elon Musk. And during the show, Elon Musk smoked something. Do you know anything about this one? Yes, that episode became one of the most talked about moments in podcast history. In 2018, Elon Musk appeared on the Joe Rogan Experience. And during the conversation, Musk famously smoked what appeared to be a joint, marijuana mixed with tobacco. This clip quickly went viral, sparking a massive reaction from both the media and the public. Here's a bit of context about what happened. One, the moment. During the three-hour-long episode, Joe Rogan casually offered Elon Musk a joint, and Musk, after some hesitation, took a puff while on camera. Musk didn't seem overly enthusiastic about it, but the fact that he did it at all was surprising to many, given his high-profile role as the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX. Two, public reaction. The moment created quite a stir. Some people were amused, while others were concerned about the impact on Tesla's stock price which actually dropped temporarily after the episode. It also fueled a lot of memes and online discussions about Musk's eccentric personality. However, Musk later explained that he rarely smokes marijuana and didn't find it useful for productivity. Three, the episode's impact. Beyond the viral smoking moment, the episode itself was very engaging. Musk and Rogan discussed a wide range of topics, including technology, Okay, okay, I got it now. So that's quite funny. So clearly those episodes sparks a lot of things. So maybe that's the secret that, you know, to make the podcast become very famous. So, okay, what's the next? Let's talk about something, you know what? Okay, uh, so let's move to the next one. So next one is called Mel, Mel Robertson. So her show is also quite famous. So let me know. You know, just give me a very short introduction, very short introduction, like two or three sentences about him, about her, sorry, no more three sentences about her. Go for it. Mel Robbins is a motivational speaker and best-selling author known for her practical advice on personal development. Her podcast focuses on confidence, relationships, and managing stress offering relatable and actionable insights. She became famous after her viral TEDx talk and her five-second rule technique. Okay. What are those five tech rules, techniques, and five-second rules? I never heard of it, so tell me, tell me now. The five-second rule is a simple but powerful technique Mel Robbins created to overcome procrastination and hesitation. It works like this. Whenever you have an instinct to act on a goal, you count down from five to one, then physically move or take action before your brain talks you out of it. The countdown interrupts your usual thought patterns and pushes you to act immediately. It's all about beating hesitation and taking control in those critical moments. So, sorry, explain to me again. So, whenever I, in, you know, I have a strong passion to do something, I should count one, two, three, four, five to do something or what? Actually, it's the opposite. When you feel the urge to act on something, you count backward from five. Okay. So, five, five, four, three, two, five, one, four, three, two, one, and then take action immediately. The countdown interrupts your brain's habit of overthinking or hesitating, giving you that little push to just go for it. It's all about moving before your mind can come up with excuses. Actually, that's very helpful because when I'm planning for this episode, I overthink it a lot. So I had this idea yesterday. I thought about this. I thought a lot about things. I didn't count this five, four, three, two, one. Then I did a lot of planning, but in the end I realized, okay, let's just go for and talk with it. So clearly this five second rule could be a good one. She has a- Exactly. The five second rule is perfect for situations like that. It helps cut through overthinking and gets you to take action faster. It's great that you recognize that sometimes just jumping in is the best way to go, especially with creative projects like this podcast. Now you've got a new tool to push yourself forward 
without getting stuck in the planning phase. That's good rule. Okay, today I learned something that's very, very important. That's nice. I like it. So there's also a book from her. So if you want to buy it, you can go to Amazon, check for it. But I never read her book, so maybe it could be good. And let's stop here today. It's around five to ten minutes podcast. I think it's a good experience. Do you have anything to say to our audience before we finish it today? I'm glad you found the five second rule helpful, Michael. Before we wrap up, I just want to thank our audience for tuning in to this first episode of the R2D2 Experience podcast. We hope you enjoyed the conversation and took away something useful, just like Michael did today with Mel Robbins' rule. Whether it's taking action or learning something new, we're excited to keep bringing you engaging content. Stay curious, stay bold, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Yes, stay teary, stay bold. We catch you for the next episode. See you there. So say bye to everyone. Please do that. Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. And we'll see you in the next episode of the R2D2 Experience. We'll see Take you care. In the next episode of R2D2 Experience. See you.